Hey, I'm Corinna. And I'm Abby. And I'm Tess the Techie Person. And I'm Kelsey Edwards. So, Kelsey, we'd like to start out the interview telling everyone about your recently released movie, Minor Details. This movie is about four very different girls to solve a mystery. So that being said, can you tell us a little bit about your character in the movie? Sure. Um, my character is actually, her name is Abby, and um, she kind of starts out in the beginning. Um, well, she's definitely a fashionista. She likes clothes and she likes to shop. Um, and she starts out in the beginning. She kind of starts a little bit not very nice because she deals, some, deals with some jealousy um, towards uh, Paige over the boy that she likes, Ethan, um, which is a pretty common problem that girls have, so it's um, dealing with that. And so Abby kind of starts maybe not very nice, but towards the middle of the movie, she realizes that um, that that's not really right. And so she ends up, later on, you end up finding out that Abby's really a really great person, and she she's really nice. She's fun, and she just likes to shop and be with her friends. So Cool. How did you like the cast? How did I like the cast? Uh, they're all yeah. great. We had so much fun together. Um, because we, it only took us about two weeks to film the movie at first, but um, we all became really close and just kind of like a little tight-knit family. Um, the crew was great, and we made so many friends. And um, it was just, it was really great. I, I actually miss it a lot because we just had so much fun together. Oh, that sounds so fun. Um, so do you have any specific memories from the uh, from being on set? I do. Um, a lot of times in between takes, we um, on the DVD, there's called the actor cam. And in between takes, we would just kind of take my mom's little video camera and run around set with the video camera um, and film random things. I remember one time, um, I don't know, Jeanette was doing this weird like yoga pose type thing against the wall. And it was really, it's like she's really flexible, so it was pretty funny. Um, and then uh, one of our, I, can't, I think he was one of the like, I don't know, one of the crew guys, I don't remember exactly what he did, but um, anyway, he came up and, like, tickled her armpit, and she totally fell over, and it was, it was really funny, she was okay, though, um, <laughs> but it was, it was really funny, and then just other times, we just would have breaks in between, and so, um, we just all sit together and talk, and, um, get to know each other in between the soccer sets, and, um, I remember one time we were outside filming some of the soccer scenes, and it was so windy that one of the, I think it's one of the things, that, like, um, reflects the light actually fell over on one of the crew members um oh. yeah and it was it was scary but he ended up being fine and so we ended up having to um cancel that the rest of shooting for the day because the wind was so bad and we had to like pick it up later and film those scenes later so yeah <laughs> so what other movies have you been in what other movies have you been in <laughs> um i've been in a couple other ones a few a few years ago i did a movie called The Bracelet of Bordeaux. Um, and then I also, one of my first movies was called A Promise Kept, and I did that um, to tell a very tiny scene in that. Um, and then my mom and her, her friend Sally have also co-wrote some other movies. Um, they did one called The Halls of Mandrake, and so that was a short that we worked on. Um, some other short films that I did in uh, when I was in California, one called Chloe's Prayer, I think, um, Another, another one that my brother was in. Just mainly short films, but cool. Um, so, do you have any other talents you would like us to know about? Um, well, I don't know. I, I enjoy singing. Like, I don't, um, I don't do it professionally or anything, but I, I definitely enjoy it. I sing all the time, um, much to my family's dismay. But um, <laughs> I also play guitar. Or at least I'm trying to teach myself. Um, and I like to play sports. I'm not really any good at them, but I like to play them. And um, I like to write songs also. That's one of the things I like to do in my, in my spare time. Awesome. What are some of your favorite things to do in your free time? In my free time, um, I like to go on the computer, just, you know, Facebook and stuff. Um, I like to spend time with my friends. We like to go shopping a lot and go see movies, you know, just typical teenager things. Um like I said, I like to write songs. I like to uh, play guitar and sing and um, just stuff like that, you know. And spend time with my family. My family is really great, so I enjoy being with them as much as possible. Awesome. Um, who's your celebrity crush? 
Um, I don't think I have one really. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a celebrity crush. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your best, best subject in school? You know, I've always kind of been like a grammar nut, like a spelling English kind of person. I'm very, um, I don't know, very like English oriented. I, I like to spell um, and then, like, if somebody spells a word wrong or if, like, the grammar's wrong, it just drives me crazy. So I probably like English the best. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so now it's time for our surprise quick questions round. You have to answer these qu- questions as quickly as possible with as little hesitation as possible. You ready? Yeah, okay. Okay. If a seahorse was attacking you, what would be the first thing you would do? <laughs> Um, I would ask him why he's attacking me and try to have him stop, but I don't know. Seahorses are cute, so maybe it wouldn't be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, pick a number between 1 and 100. 55. <laughs> <laughs> if you could dye your hair any unnatural hair color, what would it be? Probably just like, I like blonde, like light blonde with some blonde highlights and stuff. Um, oh, unnatural. Sorry, you said yeah. unnatural. Um, I guess blue. Blue would be fun. I like blue. <laughs> uh, if, would you rather eat antiseptic or bathe in spaghetti? Uh, definitely bathe in spaghetti. <laughs> okay, well, that concludes our quick question round. This month, our <laughs> interview topic is about charities and being green. So how do you feel about being green and recycling and all? Actually, I'm a very, I'm very big into recycling. Um, my family kind of makes fun of me sometimes because... We have a little, like, basket in the recycling, and if I see something in the trash that should go in the recycling, I'll be like, hey, you guys, this isn't supposed to go in the trash. So then I, you know, rinse it out or whatever and put it in the recycling bin. And so I think it's just really important um, that we recycle because it's, it's it, you never realize how much it can really help, like how much even just recycling that can of soda can save, you know, something else. And, um you know, our Earth has limited resources and we really need to take advantage and um, help renew and restore things as much as we possibly can. So. Awesome. Um, so do you support any charities? You know, there are... I I haven't really looked into um, any, like, specific charities yet, but um, I do... I feel really strongly for animals, which is something that I really need to look into. But um, I'm a vegetarian. I don't believe... I, I don't like to take part in eating them, and um, <laughs> I I just feel really strongly for animals because people, as much as people need help, and I do believe in that, that, you know, we should help other people, animals don't really, you know, they can't speak for themselves. They don't have um, a way to defend themselves or to protect themselves, and so I believe that people really need to help out with that, and so that's something I feel really strongly for is um, helping animals in any way that they can any way that I can, you know, if I ever see the opportunity to help one, then I, then I always do, so. Awesome. Now it's time for our last question. But certainly not the least. <laughs> Here's our signature question. What is the weirdest thing you have in your closet? Huh. The weirdest thing I have in my closet. Um, <laughs> actually, that came to my mind pretty fast. There, the Probably the weirdest thing that I have is um, my grandpa does a tax business type thing, and so anyway, one time he got like a caricature of himself um, drawn. I don't know. He's he's kind of like this guy, and he has a cane and um, a big beard and stuff. So anyway, he got a caricature of himself drawn, and somehow I obtained a copy of the caricature, and so I have a copy of my the caricature of my grandpa rolled up inside my closet. <laughs> 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 well, thanks so much, Kelsey. It was great talking to you. Thank you. It was awesome talking to you guys, too. And don't forget to check out Minor Details. Um, The website is www.minordetailsthemovie.com. And don't forget to check out woemagazine.net. Thanks.